what is going on youtube welcome back to the broke boys youtube channel it is the next day uh as you saw in part one we got the pioneer into the shop and we went ahead and started dissecting everything so what we are going to do today is we are going to pull the motor we're not going to pull it out we're just kind of going to uh unbolt everything so we don't have to drain coolant and oil and everything you know so we're just gonna uh, we're gonna unbolt it and like just hang it up here so yeah and then after we get everything unplugged we're gonna go ahead and drop the frame so that we can uh get it prepared for the new frame to be installed so yeah all right guys so it's a little late now but we got the whole frame out, or the back half of the frame. 10:30. Yeah. So let's take us a take us a look at this. You can really see it all standing over here, Drew. Yeah. Check check that. Stand out. over here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look how much <laughs> that is yeah. being kicked over. Oh, half a star now. <laughs> Check that out. Just for everybody's information, <laughs> there is a hundred thousand volts holding the back part of the frame. <laughs> if y'all happen to have this, problem. it wouldn't have been as bad if there wasn't any mud under it. it I yeah. mean, like, look. Yeah, make sure you get a picture of all the fucking mud. <laughs> Check all that out. That's like a lot. <laughs> Damn, Willis. But how long you think it took to get the frame out? Uh, Four hours. Yeah, something like that. Probably about well, four hours. It probably would have been a lot easier if we dropped the motor with the frame. Yeah. But yeah. we didn't want to lose our coolant, man. Uh, yeah. This is how we roll. <laughs> Look. This is how we roll. We, 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 we have a strap <laughs> with the frame. Uh, but I mean, it worked. And that's all that matters. It worked. Tomorrow. All right, guys. It is the next day now. Uh, Jamie, what you, what you got here? I got the frame, baby. We got the back half of the frame. All the way from where? Nebraska? Nebraska. Crazy. As you can see here, she's not bent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is pretty clean, though. It got some surface rust, but... Just a little bit. It's a little older frame than my I old mean, ones. I mean, nothing really to worry about. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> it came with that, uh, that little vent line, too. too. Yeah. In this one. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, cause I was like, maybe it's gonna come with that on the motor. There's a like a bracket. It's like a U shape. I thought that that it might come on it, but I guess it didn't. But that's okay, cause we we still have you all that. We got it. Yeah. With a title. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the frame to the shop. We got it right next to the old one. As you can see, that back part tilts off that way. And this one is perfectly fine. We've noticed a little bit of this frame that needs a little bit of work on, but I mean, nothing, nothing like a whole frame swap, you know. We also notice there is another crack on the back and it broke it. all the welds. Time to do the frame swap. All right, guys, so we got the frame back in. Uh, we kind of did this last night and never, I don't think we picked it up last night, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, we've skipped a lot, but, um, we got the motor back bolted down. We got the frame in and bolted down and now it is just time to, uh, you know, plug everything in, put the diff in, get the drive shaft in. We're going to need to put the exhaust back on. Then after that in the battery. She'll be ripping, Jamie. <laughs> Isn't that right? And we're waiting on A-arms and some other stuff. Yeah. Axles so I gotta get like the A-arms. Stay on the way. So stay ride. tuned. Because <laughs> this weekend we're riding it. Easy peasy. Man. Easy peasy? Easy money. It really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's because we're the dream team, man. <laughs> Dude told me gonna take two weeks at charging $1,500. Who do you? Justin. And I just charge you some razor seats. <laughs> I'm just deal. Deal. <laughs> deal. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking maybe. A okay, I don't know if we can put that. Crap. What are you? Where did all this come from? I don't know. You know good old muddy bottoms mud right here. A whole five gallon bucket. 
That's a lot of and dirt. And I'm using a funnel because I can't find the shovel in oh, the shop. That's a lot of dirt, sir, but what, what about the rest of it up there? We might need another bucket. All right, guys. Well, we haven't picked up in a while. As you can see. But uh, we are starting to put everything back together. We got the middle piece. And then we got the airbox put on, exhaust mounted, motors bolted down, frame is completely bolted down. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Diff is bolted down. All we have left pretty much is cosmetic stuff. Like the uh, A arms on the other side, we're waiting on them to come in. Got the battery box back in. That thing was a pain, but I made Hank do it because. Cause, uh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. gave me the yeah. hard job. Yeah. <laughs> I got the shaft on the whole project. Every <laughs> shaft that got given, I got it. <laughs> anyway, but she's pretty much um, pretty much done again. We actually just. Hey, maybe her somebody up. from Honda will watch this. This here, no bueno. No worky. Oh, the battery box. Change the battery box. But. I wonder, did they change it on the 520? I don't know. Yeah, right? Okay. Drain the gas, put fresh I mean, gas he, in it. he filled it up, put fresh gas in it, drove it to Muddy Bottoms, only for us to get in a wreck. That's so, cool. he has we a... We might throw some stable in or something, so you don't gotta waste the whole thing. Yeah, yeah probably dead. Anyway, she's pretty much done. We just gotta finish putting her together. By Friday, we'll have it done. If we have all parts. Yeah, right. Wait, no, we're, Jamie. we're going to get the razor seats tomorrow. Jamie's, Jamie's like, oh, like then, a woman. Uh, all righty guys so i just installed the heat shields and we just put the the fender flares back on the rear plastics so um we are about to be going back together with this uh the a-arms came in today i think or yesterday or something but anyway we got them and we got them put in now we need to get bolts for the knuckle and then some studs for the hub because they broke on the impact or some I don't know. Grant, what are you what are you doing there, sir? See if I can straighten this mount back out a little bit. How about you how about you straighten this one? This one's a little well, this was special. I think these are actually for like ten to like I don't know, do ten stuff. <laughs> It didn't really straighten, but I mean, kind of. Anyway, but that's what we got going on. And then after that, we can start putting the seat stuff back in. Yeah. All right, well, we'll pick up whenever there's another update. I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. 